Come on in, come on in. Listen, I want you to subscribe. I want you to like. I want to thank you to all my followers. Um, you guys have been actually really amazing me, uh, your responses and things of that sort. So I'm really excited about that. Listen, I, it's been two weeks since I did a vlog. And one of the reasons that um, we had ice storms, so the internet was out, um, a lot of stuff was going on. So here I am two weeks um, out. So I'm going to give you an insert about um, a part of the journey in the last two weeks. And then I'm going to come back and talk a little bit more. All right. So let me actually be honest about a few things. Um, Anyway, this week I got sick. Um, yes, well, t it was yesterday. So one of the things I got sick was, um, I think I ate too much. Um, although I didn't measure it out, I still think it was too much. And um, I just could not keep it down. So, you know, I threw up a few times last night. And, like, the second time I threw up, man... Like, I'm going to be honest with you, it wasn't just um, frustrating, it was also emotional. Like, I was sitting there like, God, what did I do? Um, I know you guys hear that almost every week, um, but it was like one of those things, I just sat on the bathroom floor, and I was just like, like, is this going to be my life? Like, could, and I started thinking about things like, could I have done this? without the surgery. Um, did I really think this through? I was on YouTube every day. I was reading every day. Did I read enough? Um, did I look through? And I think about when I had a conversation with my mom before she left. She came down here to, you know, I shared that with you before, after I had the surgery. But I had a conversation with her about just the process she went through. And one of the things she was like, you know, there were moments I was just upset. Like there were moments I was just like, what did I do? There were moments where she was just like, I was depressed. And I'm like, oh, well, you know, I was losing weight, you know, things like that. So I didn't think anything of it. But yesterday and today, it's just kind of been a little harder uh, to feel that pick me up and that, oh, man, I made the right choice. So that is kind of where I'm at. So yesterday I went to the I went to the gym in the morning for the first time. I was like, well, I'm going to walked through there and um I think I did too much so I you know one thing is if I do too much activity I feel a strain I even had to contact my doctor and they were like yeah you know it still takes about six to eight weeks to really heal um and everyone heals differently so you really need to be careful because you don't want to like strain your abdomen or things of that sort so I'm like okay cool because that already happened to me one time so I'm trying to take it easy. So I was like, I'm not going to do anything. But then the sun came out and I was just like, I have to get out of this house. Because any other time when I was down and had time, I would just go get something to eat. And like, I'm going to eat, watch a good movie. But when you have this restriction, yeah, it's not the same, right? So it's just, just learning how to cope, finding some better coping skills and taking moments to like get some fresh air. So today it's a beautiful day. I'm out here trying to get myself up. Listen, I cannot reverse this thing. Like, my bad. I'm what bad. it's going to be, this is my new reality. And listen, I've had my old eating habits. I'm 30 years old. I've had my old he eating habits longer than I've had this sleeve. So it's a huge adjustment. You know, I've been talking to people. I've been praying to God, um, reading my scriptures, talking to people in my support group, which is a beast i love those guys and uh just really trying to get through this adjustment but it is an adjustment and you know they even talk about buyer's remorse like is a part of the process and i'm like whoo i understand um and especially in moments where you don't feel like you're like this is a week i really haven't lost much so i'm just like i did all this for two three four pounds whoo you know so anyway i'm just trying to keep myself up uh, this is the reality of it. All right. So that was one of the hardest days I've had. Other than that, um, it's been an okay journey so far. I've gotten sick relatively as I'm learning what foods I can tolerate and what foods I can't. Okay. So I just want to share a few things and I'm going to move. So I have decided personally not to weigh myself. 
Um, and I know like everyone that does a vlog, they want to let you know their highest weight. My highest weight was 279. They want to let you know your their surgery weight. My surgery weight was 259. They want to let you know, they want you to know their current weight. I do not know my current weight. Um, the last time I weighed myself, I was 234. I was 234. Um, I'm one, I'm one month out. I'm over, I'm like a week out, a week past one month. So I'm five weeks right now. I have decided not to weigh myself until my second month. Um, for me, it was becoming quite obsessive. Like, I mean, I was weighing myself a few times a day and I was just like, okay, I'm not going to live my life like this. So what I'm going to make sure I do is I'm going to just stick to my plan, be very conscious of what I'm eating, be very conscious of my meal plan, my portion sizes. And at a month, I will update you all. I, I know that this is what we do, but I just want to be free, free myself from that obsessive. Everything I eat is either going to add a pound or lose a pound. And that's just not how it works. So I decided just to take a break back. So I will not weigh in until February, no, until March 11th the week of March 11th, right? Which is kind of hard, but I want to, some people have asked me some questions, so I wanted to respond. How do I feel? I feel good. Besides the hard moments, like the part you just saw, I actually do feel good. Um, someone um, asked me about clothes. I'm wearing stuff I could not wear before, like this. I have not wore this in uh, maybe a couple months. Let me stop lying, like a couple months, but it was tight when I wore it, right? The pants that I have, uh, can't see it anyway, but I haven't worn that in years. Um, and I had to actually stop wearing these type of pants because they are... Um, they are uh, Levi's, and I used to like Levi's, but Levi's don't always stretch, it, and that didn't work for me. So I went to American Eagle because I could wear like fitted fitted pants that were stretchable, which would make it a little bit more comfortable. So I have more of these, and uh, these I have not worn in probably over a year. I had gotten up to like a 40 waist, actually a little past 40, because uh, 40 was tight, but I am comfortably in a 38 now. Well, actually, I probably could try 36, but I uh, I just don't want to buy any clothes right now because the 38s that I'm in, that I'm pulling out my closet, remember I told you I had that stash, pulling out my closet, they're still loose. I had to buy a belt the other day. I was really excited about that because my belts weren't working and I like to like dance and shout and my pants were falling down. Um, so I got a new belt. Okay. So someone asked me, so I, that's how I feel. Someone asked me about meals. What have I been eating? So I have to work on getting more water in. Um, I have, I'm going to be honest with you. I have started drinking juices again. I mean, uh, talk about me if you want. Okay. I've started drinking juices again. I'm trying to get back to that. Um, other than that, um, I haven't drunk a lot. Let me not be excessive. I haven't drunk a lot of juice, but I have drunk some. But other than that, one day I made like seafood chowder. Um, that was good, um, for me. Um, like meatloaf, that's good. I've had some chicken, like air fryer. Hey, that's been good. I've also had, um, I've also had like just keto-ish food items. Like I'll try this. And so I have to get my protein up. So I'm trying to do more steaks and things like that. Um, Medicine is okay. Uh, my face has been breaking out a little bit, as you guys can probably tell. Um, it comes with the territory as your body's trying to regulate itself. Um, and that's just what it is. Um, someone asked me, what about exercise? Okay, so exercise, I have started exercising. So I've been exercising for two weeks now. Uh, so the first week I went, I was just doing cardio or I would go to the park, as you guys just saw. Um, depending on the day. So I try to go at least three or four times a week. And normally what I do uh, is cardio, try to do like two miles, maybe three, and then um, try to work on um strength training, but it's not much I'm doing because I don't want to press it too hard until I'm six weeks out, which will be this week. Okay. Um, someone asked, did I try to lose weight before the surgery? I'm going to do a whole vlog on this. Of course I tried to lose weight. This was my last resort. Um, uh, I've tried all types. I did every diet except for keto. And the only reason I was scared of keto is because I actually had high cholesterol. I had high triglycerides. I was taking medication for that. So I didn't want to like 
it's very high, right? So I didn't do that. Um, but I've had trainers. Actually, it was so amazing because as on my VSG Instagram page, follow that VSG underscore speaks with a Z. Uh, one of my old trainers, my first one of my first trainers reached out to me and was like, man, I'm proud of you. And that kind of felt really good that we've been able to have the dialogue. So I have been working on weight. Like one of the conversations I had with my mom when I was discussing this, she was like, um, you know, it, that was one of the questions. Like, so what other things have you tried? And I'm like, I've been trying. Like, I've always had issues with my weight. She was like, well, I don't remember that when you were younger. And I was like, listen, I was the person that was last to be picked for kickball. I was the person that was last to be kicked for dodgeball. I remember praying I would be sick on the day we had to run a mile. I've always been conscious of my weight. She was like, but when you were in high school and you were in middle school, just because I dressed nice doesn't mean I wasn't conscious of my weight. So yes, I have been trying to lose weight before the surgery. And I would probably lose like five to six pounds. Um, and that would be it. Um, a lot of it was diet. Some is discipline, of course. Uh, but honestly, let me share this. Like I also, and I'll talk about this at a, in another vlog, had issues with my feet. Like I was a podiatrist, multiple podiatrists. I had um, insoles. I had to have insoles that had to be uh, modified just for me. I had different things I had to put on because of the issues I had with my feet. Can I tell you, I've been working out at the gym. I have not had any issues with my feet. So I'm really excited about that. Overall, I have lost about 45 pounds since my highest weight. Um, so I'm gonna answer one more question. Someone says, is there anything else? Is there anything you wanna do next? Is there anything you wanna do next? And I'm gonna be honest with you. I'll tell y'all. I'm actually, um, the next thing I want to do is I want to get veneers. I want to get my teeth um, done. So uh, that's about $3,000, um, depending on where you get it at. Um, so yeah, that is something I want to do, but I'm not rushing to do that right now because uh, I don't want my teeth to be bigger than my face. So I want to <laughs> wait until I lose weight a little bit. Okay. Someone also asked me, how much did the surgery cost? I think the total bill was like, of the surgery itself was about twenty eight thousand um, dollars. I think once everything came in after the hospital stay was like thirty something thousand dollars. I only paid um, fifteen hundred dollars, and actually that met my deductible to the point that um, the lady at the insurance company was like, "Is there anything else you want to do before?" Um, your year runs out because you've met your deductible. Everything you do at this moment is free. So I am also thinking about something else, but. Um, it's as is I want to have my I'm thinking about also having my tonsils taken out, but cosmetically it's veneers. But um, yeah, so I have some tonsils stones. I have issues with my tonsils. So if it's going to be free, I might go ahead and do that um, right now. But anyway, so that is kind of where I am right now. Things are looking up, but I just don't want to be a slave to the scale. I don't want to be a slave as as I was to food before. I don't want to become to food on this side, because I think that sometimes we can be like, OK, well, now I'm not doing this. So therefore I'm doing this. But listen, if I was like going at it hard with eating food and so conscious, I'm got to eat this, got to eat this. I don't want to take that same thing and bring it to this side. Like, oh, I can't I can't eat that because it's not low fat like. I'm just going to do portion sizes. And I know that's not everybody's journey. I've seen people do different things. That's I'm just not going to be a slave to this either. Uh, I'm just going to be a slave to Christ. Amen. Uh, but anyway, so this is my journey. I just wanted to give you an update of how I'm doing. I've had bad days, as you can see, but I've also had a lot of good days. And uh, I'm feeling a lot better. I'm feeling stronger. And this is my journey. So I want you to subscribe. I want you to like, I want you to share, follow me on Instagram. I, I share like recipes on there. I share my updates. And now this is what I'm looking forward to. And this will happen by the next time we have this video. I am looking forward to doing a side by side. Like I did one, but I'm going to do a side by side with one of the same outfits I had before um, the surgery in like in December, early December. So that would be like three months, well, like two months. Um, so I'm looking forward to doing a side by side. But other than that, all is well in Christ I dwell. Listen, thank you for following. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for like, if you have any questions, um, put them down in the comment section and I will try to answer them next week. All right, have a good one.